Whatever you believe to be true is being reflected back to you. And based on what we believe about ourselves, that is what is allowing in certain things into our life and that is what also is blocking out things from coming into our life. And for probably two years, I knew I wanted to be doing what I'm doing right now to live my dream life. But because I didn't change these five beliefs, I stayed locked in my old reality where I was selling woman's shoes, working at Barney's New York, was dealing with a lot of corporate politics, uh, trying to get the schedule that I wanted, and feeling like I was trapped in a nine to five cycle. And until I changed these five beliefs, that was my reality. And it was a game changer when I finally learned what I'm gonna be sharing with you in this video. So if you wanna save yourself time, energy, and really make that shift quickly into your dream life, this video is gonna help you do that. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the five beliefs that I had to change in order for me to be living my dream life that I am now. So when I was me not living my dream life, I had five false beliefs or beliefs that were keeping me safe in that mode and letting them go changed everything. Now the first one and the first thing that I had to believe in order to make the shift is I had to believe that it was first off possible, that it was possible for me and not only possible but probable. Okay, so there's things like possible realities and probable realities. And if we believe that it is probable for us, if we take action or if we move ahead, we're more likely to actually follow through. For a long time, I was feeling like, uh, not only because I was in that nine to five job, but I knew I wanted to be making videos on YouTube. I knew I wanted to be sharing my ideas on spirituality and law of attraction and metaphysics, but I didn't, really know if I could actually do it or I felt like there was maybe I was incredible and because of that it caused me to not necessarily take action. I didn't believe that it was probable for a while until I became aware and I started to see other people that were also doing this. So back in 2012 I saw people like Ralph Smart, I saw people like other YouTubers that had audiences that were making their content and people were listening to it and they did that full time. Once I started to see other people do it and I was started to question myself like why not me? So I want you listening to this right now, whatever your dream life is, what is your dream life? And if you don't know what that is, you can set that intention, but start to realize that whatever that is, there are other people that are already doing that. So by seeing them do it, you're then beginning to increase your own belief that it can happen for you. And not only can it happen for you, but if you model what that person has done, you'll most likely get a similar result. You can reverse engineer what other people did to get there. I noticed that other YouTubers, they made YouTube videos. They studied different content. They were naturally reading those books and listening to those seminars. So I started to do the same things because it was something also I was passionate about. But as I did that, my reality began to change. So beliefs are these structures of thought that keep us into a certain reality, into a certain way of thinking, and we see reality based as a reflection of what we believe to be true. But the first step is always to become aware of your beliefs, to then let them go, the old beliefs go, so that you can then allow in a new reality. So the first belief that I had to let go of though is the belief that it is that it is impossible or improbable. And once you start realizing that it's just a belief that's keeping you safe, your beliefs just keep you safe to where you are, that's when I then started to become much more free. So that was the first belief that I had to become aware of, the first belief that I also had to let go of. Now the second belief has to do with the comfort zone you have being safe. And I remember even as I started on YouTube and I started making videos and I was working at Barney's New York selling women's shoes, working 40 hours a week, I remember that there was this unknown factor to making videos. And it took me six months to go full time, but I could have done it in like a month or two, but I was afraid. Because I was afraid that if I really let go 
of this reality that's brought me safety for so long, then what if I fall flat on my face? What if like, I don't, what if I fail? And what if I don't succeed and how embarrassing will that be? Back in 2012 when I quit my job at Nordstrom's, I quit on a whim because I went through a spiritual awakening and I was like money and all this stuff, I don't wanna deal with that anymore. So I quit and I lived at my mom's for like six months and it was embarrassing in a way because I lost everything, um, a lot of weird things happened and then after that I had to go and swallow my pride and go back and that's when I went and applied at Barney's New York and got the job the same day. But it was very embarrassing, so I didn't want that to happen again. So what held me back from actually going full time, like I could have done it much faster, is letting go of the fear that came with letting go of the known, of letting go of like the safety mechanism. Here's the thing I realized too, I, I did not like selling women's shoes at Barney's New York. What was I really letting go of? It was my belief of, scare, of security, but that was keeping me locked in it, believing that, you know, caring what other people thought also stopped me from, from really going after what I'm passionate about. But staying in your comfort zone will keep you from living your dream life. So what you want to do is become aware of what your comfort zone is and start to challenge it. The degree to which you can get into the unknown is the degree to which magic will happen in your life. Because in the known, you only get more of what you've got. Because it's thinking, feeling, and doing the same things over and over again. But when you step into the unknown, you allow something more magical to come in. Now, the third belief that you have to let go of to live your dream life has to do around time. Now, when I was working my nine to five job, I would exchange time for money. That was the only way that I thought about it. I was like, I'll go in, I'll work a certain number of hours, even though I worked a sales commission job too. But I have to be there from nine to five or whatever the timing is, and that's what I get paid for. When you start living your dream life, whatever that is, for some of you it might not be working for yourself, but for many of you I think it will be. But I had to start thinking about my time differently. How do I optimize my own energy? What am I, do what am I passionate about what I'm doing? And as I started to, to gear it more at that, my energy began to change because I wasn't just looking at exchanging time for money, I was looking at like how can I add value and put value out into the world because what I put out is what I get back. And I had, to, I had to rewire myself in that way. And the, that's one of them. The other one, I would say as well, is being told what to do. I, the only way I was gonna go full time doing what I love is I had to take initiative. Believing that someone has to tell you what to do in order for you to do it will keep you having a boss. Will keep somebody telling you what to do. I had to change my belief on time, just exchanging my time for money, like with an hourly job, which was also commission, but you gotta get the idea. And then secondly, being told what to do. And I was told what to do, when to come in. I was told, you know, how often I had to greet customers. I was told, and if I didn't get held to the, a certain standard, then I could get fired. I was told my sales numbers had to be a certain amount. So. What I had to eventually do is I had to take my own initiative and I started making the videos on YouTube, working 30, 40 hours a week making YouTube videos and nobody, you know, I didn't have to do that. I was holding myself to that standard, but as I held myself to that standard, my old nine to five job began to phase out. So in order for you to not have a boss, you must become your own boss. You must take your own initiative. And as I started to take my initiative, that's when everything in life really began to change. And that's one thing you can begin to do, is to take your own initiative and to realize unless you make the choice, the radical ownership of your own life, and you make that your focus, unless you do that, you will be the cameo in other, you, you will be in a way like maintaining someone else's vision. Until you grow your own vision, you will maintain and you will service other people's vision. And that includes whoever owns the company, that includes the managers of that company that are also upholding the company for the people at the higher ups. So it's something to become aware of. And there's something that I'll be doing with my buddy Victor Odo. My buddy Victor Odo and I both have successful YouTube channels. We both have our own uh, businesses that, uh, that have done very well. And we love helping other people learn how to go full time doing what they love. So if you are a coach, a healer, a psychic, an astrologer, tarot reading, any of those, and you wanna learn how to go full-time doing what you love, there is a three-day challenge that we're gonna be doing starting August 27th, 28th, 29th. 
If you want to join for free, click the link below and join. We're going to be doing a three-day challenge and there'll be things you do to, to why you're in this new version of you, but also we're going to show you step-by-step -step how to go full-time doing what you love. So the initiative is an extremely important part of it. The last thing I want to talk about is deserving it. Do you feel like you deserve your full-time job, your dream life? I had to change and let go of my belief that I didn't deserve it or that I had to either work really, really hard for it or that I had to be more than I was in order to have it. What really held me back was believing I had to have some coaching degree, some bachelor's degree, some like all these things. And I've been on YouTube doing what I'm doing, have created an extraordinarily amount of abundance, more than I thought I would have created it by this point in my life. And I don't have a coaching degree. I don't have any formal education degree. I went to college for a little bit, but I realized I wasn't passionate about it. I was passionate about learning about metaphysics and stuff that I wasn't, I didn't learn in college. So I studied that. And the thing I want to share with you is you give yourself permission to go full time. You give yourself permission to be that most ideal version of you and other people. You don't need a degree to tell you. And once you get the degree, you're not even going to, you're going to feel like it's like just a piece of paper. That's normally what happens. Your, your, your degree is not what is impressive. It's your energy. It's, it's realizing that whatever you've accomplished in your life, there are other people that would want to accomplish that. And if you don't think you have any accomplishments, then maybe you've been ignoring that about yourself. There are things you've, I know people that have accomplished and quit doing drugs. That is an accomplishment. That's something that you've done. And there are other people that are doing drugs that want to know how not to do drugs. So there are, we set the bar so high for ourselves sometimes. But when you realize that you've already accomplished things and that there are other people that would want to accomplish those too, you lower the bar and you realize, wait, you, people want to be led by somebody that has accomplished something, but aren't too unrelatable in a way. So if you're just a couple steps of, ahead of them, that's even better because it's more relatable. And that's what you can remember this. That's why Gary Vee says all the time, document, don't create. You're just sharing your journey. When I was creating videos on law of attraction, I was just sharing what I was learning by having a nine to five sales job. And by sharing that, then other people would, I, I didn't have it all figured out when I started making YouTube videos. I was living at my dad's house. I was making videos in front of his pool. Remember those videos? That's what I was doing. And what you can realize is that you don't have to have it all figured out. You don't have to have the perfect camera equipment. Most people, they use their freaking phone. They use, just use your phone. Your phone does everything. I sometimes have these fancy camera equipment and I just use my freaking phone. You don't need fancy camera equipment. You don't need fancy editing. You don't need any of that stuff. You just need to start. And my biggest thing to you is that that if you believe, it's like number six, if you believe that it's going to happen in the future and you got to wait for it, then it will never happen. You have to make the choice right now. Make the choice right now. Make the choice right now. Right? Make the choice right now. Just make the choice. Okay? Make the choice right now to go full time doing what you love and to take action and knowing that you're worth it. That you're worth it and that all you have to do is make the choice. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to start. And when you start, you start getting feedback. You start seeing what resonates with people, what doesn't. You start learning more about yourself. You get better at making videos or whatever it is, whatever your dream life is. And the better you get, the more that you then expand your zone of comfort, the more you will then experience more inside of your life. So let's go over them real quick. What are the five beliefs you must let go of? You must change that must die for you to create your dream life. We got the first one. That it is actually possible. It is not impossible. It is not improbable. It is possible and probable for you. Find other people that are do it. It'll increase the belief that can also happen for you. Secondly, get out of your comfort zone. Your comfort zone is that it's keeping you in your current reality. It's keeping you safe from your dream reality. But when you start to branch out of it, you start to become a new version of you. And you always get in life a reflection of who you are. So you must become a new version of you. You must then give up time for money. Start viewing it more in terms of energy, of value that you're putting out. Creating systems for that. And then also, not just that, but being told what to do by other people. Become your own boss. Take your own initiative. You must let go of waiting. You must do it yourself in order for you to then create your own dream life. And then, beyond that, realize that you deserve it. You deserve it. You don't need to have, it doesn't need to be perfect. It doesn't mean on some pedestal. 
Realize that you deserve it and that not only do you deserve it, but you are credible already. There's something you've already accomplished. It's, it's an easier thing to realize when you start to give yourself permission. When I started making videos, I started feeling like I had something valuable to say and other people could feel that off me and then they started to pay attention. Give yourself permission and as you do, your life will begin to change and don't wait. Waiting will also kill your dreams coming to reality. So let go of that and watch how your life begins to change in a very powerful way. So if you wanna join that three day full-time purpose challenge, click the link below and join. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always, I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace, much love, and namaste.